Welcome back. With APSA, your story matters, regardless of gender, race or age. Let's join Ayanda Tebete in exploring how APSA empowers members of all ages to fearlessly break barriers and embrace new opportunities. Small and medium enterprises are the lifeblood of our economy, driving employment, fostering innovation and bringing communities together. However, starting and managing a small business in today's economy can be a daunting endeavour. Many entrepreneurs face challenges from accessing finance to navigating complex market dynamics. But it's important to remember age is not a barrier to success. It's never too late to start your entrepreneurial journey and break through those limitations. Joining us is Kanya Machi. Head of Client Value Propositions for SMEs at APSA Relationship Banking to discuss how to embark on starting a business during retirement and embrace the opportunities that lie ahead. How are you today, Kanya? I'm um, very well, Ayanda. Thank you. Kanya, do you find that many people consider starting a business after retirement? We find that people are um, starting businesses uh, within retirement. Um, but why do they start businesses? Um, the number of people that you maybe would have wanted to start a business um, in your 40s, but didn't have the time or the means to do so. So in your retirement years, we know that it's not too late to start a business. Um, whatever that passion pursuit that you had or an idea that you had, retirement creates that opportunity to start a business. I love that narrative that it's never too late to start. But what are some of the factors that we need to consider before starting a business? The first one is to think about what is the business that you want to start? Having been a salaried earner, um, do you understand enough about the sector that you want to go into? Um, you don't necessarily have the same time on your hands that if you make a mistake, if you lose some money, to be able to enter employment again. So market research, testing the product, testing the viability is an important consideration. The other is to think about the sources of capital and where it is that you're going to find the money to start the business. Will it be cashing out your retirement? Do you have savings or will you be taking out financing? Those are important considerations. The other is also to think about the network that you surround yourself with. Do you have the right mentors um, and sponsors to give you insights into the industry and also to network um, for buyers and suppliers that you're looking at? And now speaking about APSA specifically, what are some of the products or the ways that you help people that want to start businesses? There are a number of things. You know, as APSA, we pride ourselves of being the bank of the entrepreneur. And we really landed on three main things, access to finance, access to markets and access to business support. So from a finance perspective, we've launched two propositions that are really focused on enabling businesses. Um, and we've called them APSA She Thrives and APSA Emerging Entrepreneur. And embedded in these solutions is all the banking solutions that you can think of um, around running a business, whether it be payments or transactional, whether it be lending or insurance. And all of these are important as a business owner, not only starts their business, but runs it as well. From an access to markets perspective, we've got various partnerships uh, that we work with to be able to create these opportunities for business owners, not only to network with each other, but to access potential clients as well. And then, of course, one of my favorites is, you know, access to business support. Uh, we know that to run a business is, is, can be quite challenging. Yes. Um, and in order to do this, you need a network of support around you. And so specifically for this, we launched a funding readiness webinar series. Um, and it's in the name. It's focused on funding readiness, right? But we know that in order to access funding, you need to be clear on your business plan, who your clients are, and what those financials look like. And that's what this Funding Readiness webinar series is targeting. Uh, it runs on the last Thursday um, of every month, and it's open to all people, whether you're already in business or thinking about starting a business um, and equipping you with those tools. Kanya, that was absolutely amazing. And where can one go if they want to find out more information about this? For more information on all of uh, what I've shared with you today, they can find it on all APSA social media platforms. And to register specifically for the webinar series, those are available on LinkedIn and all the meta platforms as well. I know I'm definitely signing up for that. Thank you so much for your time today, Kanya. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Your potential does not expire with age. It's never too late to pursue your passions and make a difference. With APSA, your story matters, regardless of where you are in life. There are stories of dreamers, and we're inspired by them all. We invite you to write your story with us. Your story matters. Absa.